Hello my students, fourth grade. How are you today? Welcome again in Al Hadil Muhammad Schools. Today's lesson is reading, which is lesson two, and you need to open your people's book page ninety-eight and ninety-nine. And we have two outcomes for today: identify and use new words, things in nature, and read a poem. My students, please open your people's book page ninety-eight and ninety-nine. As you can see here, my students, we have poems. We have three poems. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Also, this is the third one. And the title for our reading lesson is Our School Poetry Corner. Now, look at the first poem. What can we see here? Yes, we can see in this picture, sun and soil also we can see grass now look at poem two which is about animals in the air and the sea and on the land we can see many kinds of animals for example lion shark dolphin bird and so on now look at the third poem which is about the cycle of life. As you can see here, we have the cycle of life for the lady bird. Now, also here at the top of this page, we have three questions. Let us read the first question. Look at the poems, answer the questions. Number one, which poem is about insects? أي هذه القصائد تتحدث عن insects الحشرات. Yes, excellent. Which is poem three. So here we have to write poem three. Number two, which poem is about plants? Which poem from these three poems uh, about plants? Excellent. Which is poem one. So we have to write poem one. Now move to number three. Which poem is about animals? التي تتحدث عن الحيوانات. Excellent. Which is the second one poem? And here, my students, we can see books of words. Let us explain and read them. The first word is. Air. 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 What people and animals breathe? وهو الهواء. The next word is ladybird. 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 وهي الداسوقة. Now move to the next word, which is. Land. 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 The ground, the part of the world that are in the sea. وهي الأرض. Land. The next one is. Sparrow. Sparrow. Sparrow بمعنى عصفور. And the next word is. Squirrel. 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 Sinjab. Squirrel. Now let us repeat the word again. Air. Air. Hawa. Ladybird. Ladybird. Dasuka. Land. Arb. Sparrow. Asfur. And the squirrel, Sinjab. My students, let us explain the first poem. Hold your pencil and follow carefully with the audio. Our School Poetry Corner Poem 1 a Small Seed by Anushka 
a small seed sitting in the soil, waiting for water and the warmth of the slow, strong sun to grow green in the glittering grass. The stem grows up and up from its roots, big brown branches with little light leaves. It's a house and a happy home for swooping sparrows with feathers and wings and scampering squirrels with fur and tails. What a wonderful world is waiting in a small seed sitting in the soil. So let us explain the first one, a small seed. A small seed sitting in the soil. بذور صغيرة تجلس على التربة. Waiting for water and the warmth. تنتظر الماء والضوء من الشمس القوية. So here we have a question. What does seed need to grow? ماذا تحتاج البذرة لتنمو? Excellent. It needs water and warmth from slow, strong sun. To grow green in the glittering grass. لتنمو وتصبح خضراء بين العشب. The stem grows up and up from a root. وأيضا تنمو الساق أكثر وأكثر من الجذور. Big brown branches. وأيضا أفرع بنية with little light leaves مع أوراق خضراء مضيئة. So here we have a question. What does the seed become? ماذا تصبح البذرة? Yes, it becomes big brown branches with little light leaves, which means it becomes a tree. تصبح شجرة. It is a house and a happy home for swooping sparrows with feathers and wings and scampering squirrels with fur and tails. And here we have a question. Which animals have a happy home here? ما هي الحيوانات التي تستمد موطنها من هذه الأشجار? Excellent. It's a happy home for swooping sparrows. هي موطن للعصافير with feathers and wings. And scampering squirrels with fur and tails. وأيضا موطن للسناجب التي يوجد لها الفرو والذيل. So, these animals live in these trees. What a wonderful world. Is waiting in a small seat sitting in this soil. هذا هو العالم الجميل والرائع الذي ينشأ فقط من بذرة صغيرة. So this is the first poem. هذه هي القصيدة الأولى which is about a small seed, البذرة الصغيرة. Now let's listen to the second poem, poem two, which is about animals in the air. In the sea and on the land. My students, listen carefully to the second poem. Poem 2 Animals in the air, in the sea, and on the land. By Sasha. In the future, animals will be happy. Cities and towns won't be so dirty. The air will be full of cheeping and chirping. Our fishermen won't do too much fishing. The sea will be full of splashing and splishing. People won't cut down the forests and jungles. The land will be full of roaring and buzzing. The animals will all be happy and free. Because we'll look after them, you and me. In the future, 
animals will be happy سوف تكون الحيوانات سعيدة cities and towns won't be so dirty وأيضا لن تكون المناطق متسخة the air will be full of cheeping and chirping وأيضا سيكون الهواء ممتلئ ب cheeping وهو الزقزقة زقزقة الطيور and chirping وأيضا نغنقة العصافير Our fishermen won't do much fishing وأيضا الصيادين لن يقوموا باصطياد الكثير The sea will be full of splashing and splashing لأن الماء سيكون مرشوش Also people won't cut down the forests and jungles وأيضا الناس لن يقوموا بقطع الغابات The land will be full of roaring and buzzing وأيضا الأرض سوف تكون ممتلئة بأصوات الهدير وأيضا طنين النحل The animals will all be happy and free because we we'll look after them you and me وكل الحيوانات سوف تكون سعيدة لأننا سنعتني بهم Here we have a question Why aren't animals in poem too happy now? لماذا تعتقد أن الحيوانات لا ليست سعيدة الآن؟ Excellent. So this is the answer because cities and towns make the air dirty. لأن المدن والقرى تجعل الهواء ملوث. So this is the second poem. which is about animals in the air, animals in the sea, and on the land. Now move to the last poem, poem 3, which is about the cycle of life. Now, my students, please hold your pencil and listen carefully to this poem. Poem 3. The Cycle of Life by Gregory. Inside an egg, something is moving. What will it be? Can you tell me? So this is the first part of the poem, Inside an Egg, داخل البيضة. Something is moving. يوجد شيء يتحرك. What will it be? Can you tell me? هل تعرفون ما هو هذا الشيء? Oh, look. It's a lava. It's spotty. and spiky, spotty and spiky, and moving so slightly. Look at the lava. Something is growing. What will it be? Can you tell me? Now look at this picture. What can you see in this one? Yes, it's a larva. It's spotty and spiky. And moving so slightly. وأيضا تتحرك برفق. Look at the larva. Something is growing. وفيها شيء ينمو. What will it be? Can you tell me? Now let's move to the next stage. Oh, it's a pupa. Brown and dry. Brown and dry? I wonder why. Inside the pupa, something is moving. What will it be? Can you tell me? So in this picture we can see a pupa وهي الشرنقة Brown and dry Its color is brown I wonder why Inside the pupa something is moving وداخل الشرنقة Inside this pupa something is moving يوجد داخلها شيء يتحرك What will it be? Can you tell me? Now move to the next one. Oh, it's a ladybird. First yellow and black, then red with black spots, just like big round dots. So this is the cycle of life for ladybird. And this in this picture we can see yellow and black. Look at this ladybird. It is yellow and black. Then it becomes red. With the black spots, وبعد ذلك تصبح حمراء منقطة. Just like bare ground dots. 
So this is the cycle of life for the ladybird. First of all, it was an egg. Then it became a larva. After that, it became a pupa. And finally, it became a ladybird. Firstly, with yellow and black, and then with red and a black spot. My students, before we end our class, let us repeat the word. Air, ladybird, land, sparrow, and squirrel. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you next class. Goodbye.